thought there was a, a perfect fight. I thought he felt the, I thought he fought the perfect fight. I told him and I was telling him each round, hey, you won this one. I, I didn't have to give him no instructions because he was doing so well. He embraced you really good at the end of the 12th round. Was that more of a simple? Man, look, look, look. You know how much? Can you know man, one? No, 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 no. Well, okay. What do you think about him embracing you in the 12th round? Huh? What do you think about your son embracing you at the beginning of the 12th round? I'm leaving. Okay. Doc, but I'll see you down there. Okay. All right. He embraced you at the end of the 12th round, Pink Floyd. Was that? Okay, thank you. Um, what did you think of that? Your son embraced you at the end of the 12th round, like it was, it was his final goodbye. Did you feel that way? Like he kind of hugged you right before he went in for the last round? Yeah, that, that, that was sort of like a goodbye, but then again, I kind of know my son, but I can't, you know, you can, you can say you know anybody, but sometimes you do know them, but you don't know them like that all the way sometimes. So. But after, See, after who do you think did better, you, Manny Pacquiao or Andre Berto? Who took more risk against Floyd Mayweather? Man, it, it had to be Andre Berto. Yeah. Back man, he took no kind of risk. What kind of risk? He lied about his shoulder. That's all he did. After what, such a great performance, so can Floyd walk away after that? It's perfect, but it makes there's so much more he can give. Yeah, it, it's a whole bunch he can give, but the whole thing is, man, is like I said, uh, the whole thing is, man, you can you can do that, but if you really don't, if you really ain't got it in you, man, to keep fighting like that, fighting is nothing easy to do. It's hard work, man. Hard work and dedication, just like you say. And uh, and if you don't want to fight, you better quit right then. When it, when you think that your mind tell you, hey, look, I don't want to do this no more, you better not do it no more. Because if you do, if you if you continue to do it, you're gonna get hurt. What's your advice on that? Well, well, I, I, I told him when we had talked about it. We talked about him maybe doing another, one, but I'm. I'm going to let him be the, the sole owner of that on what he want to do. Have you seen that him spark in him leave? Wasn't it a good one to end it with? Wasn't it a good fight? Huh? It was a very good fight, though. Isn't it a good one to end it with? Or? Well, that, that's, that's a good fight, but that, that has nothing to do with whether you want to continue to fight or not. Yeah. You know, because you, cause you look good in a fight don't mean that, hey, you, you want to fight because you, you beat that guy and and you did real good beating him, it don't mean that you want to fight no more. You, it, your, your heart got to be there. But doesn't uh, Floyd Jr. deserve to have the best record, 50 and 0? Wouldn't you like to see him, you know, top Marciano? He can top Marciano if he wanted to, if it was in his mind. I don't know what's <laughs> in his mind. I'm just saying, like, you know, I, I think for sure he can do it and do it easy. Marziani, my, to be honest, Marziani is fighting about a lot of bums anyway. How's your son going to be remembered before? How's he going to be remembered in your eyes, and how do you think people are going to talk about him in five, ten years from now? Well, look, let me tell you something. People's, people's, I think, people's here been hating on my son. they all been hating on him. All of them. But today, I think he spoke. And I think he kind of made people understand him and where he's at and what he's doing. And um, I think that um, people kind of came together with him tonight. If it is what did you tell him in the corner between rounds? Well, that's the problem right there. That's the problem right there. It wasn't nothing for me to tell him. <laughs> he just was doing everything. I mean, I mean, what you want me to tell him to do? He hit me with, he hit me with uh, uh, good right hand, he hit him with good body shots. I mean, what else can I tell him, man? I mean, you know, I can't, I can't tell him to come up to the, it's, it's so many things I can tell him, man, but you, you, you gotta let a person, when you, when you talk with a person, you got to let a person really do his thing, do his groove and not, cut it off. See, that's why I let him do what he wanted to do in there. 
I just told him he was doing good and then let him continue to do good. One of the most entertaining fights I've seen this year. Floyd was dancing, he was looking sideways. Well, it was, it, it, it was, uh, it was an entertaining fight and plus it was a good fight and I think he had Burrow kind of gone about two or three rounds, but he didn't go. In Floyd, 10 years, the end, what's, the, what's your emotion tonight, if it is the end of Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s career? Well, don't get me wrong, it, it has nothing to do with my son. But if my son leave, and my son leave today, which I can't say nothing about him leaving, but it's that, that's on him. I can't do nothing else about that. But I got another, I got another floor too. I got, I got another one coming too. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I got, I got, all my fighters are gonna be good. If they're with me and they listen to me, they're gonna be good. Floyd, well, when he's retired, retired, just admitted Floyd, when he's that retired. his persona, the money persona, is something that he made up. It's huh? Floyd, he just said that the, his whole money persona, that it's something that he made up, that essentially was something like to work with selling his brand. If that's true, who would you say the real Floyd Mayweather is? Well, the Floyd by telling y'all something he wants y'all to think about that, just something to think about, that's all. When he's left the ring before, uh, he's, he's, he's wanted to come back for a reason. It's usually like someone out there that he wants to fight. Is that always what brings him back? No, well, you know, that, that's what brings everybody back. That's what do you brings, see that guy out there for him that can do that? Well, a lot of people wanted to fight that dude, Triple G. He ain't been to fight no Triple G, man. Triple G is too damn big for him, man. I mean, you know, he can't whoop him. He, as far as the style-wise, he can't whoop him no kind of way. He probably won't never get a chance to... Floyd might beat him because he put, might can't lay a hand on him. What about Cotto? Heck yeah. Oh, man, come on, he, he, he didn't beat the people already. Who do you think wins the Canelo? Why, why you, why you <laughs> got to come? Saying. Is there anyone out I there? Mean, I mean, why you going to come back down and Reruns. come back around and repeat? Who wins Canelo and Cotto? Is, is, huh? Canelo and Cotto, who wins that fight, do you think? Uh, we already beat both of them, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I can't really tell you who's going to win in the fight. I'm telling you it's going to be a good fight. I believe it's going to be a good fight. And I think that if anybody got the edge, I think, I think uh, Alvarez probably has the edge. If I have to bet on him. How's that? Going back to Lance's question, if he were to fight, do you see anybody out there who is appealing though? Uh, well, they say, uh, Thurman, and I think you say Thurman. Porter. Which, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> what's that name? What? That's what the names they've been saying is Thurman and Porter. And your favorite con. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I already know what you said about, about you con. You know, you know, you, you, you already know about con. What do you think okay. about Keith Thurman? Huh? What do you think about Keith Thurman? Keith Thurman is a, just a, 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 a one-shot hitter. Floyd beat guys like that real easy. He throw big punches. He throw big punches like, yeah! Hey, look, man, Floyd make a, you see Floyd make the pretty shots like that all day. Floyd, uh, Floyd retired or like to see him fight? Huh? You want to see your son retire or would you like to see Floyd continue to, to fight on? Well, that's, I would, he would have to answer those questions like that because I thought it would be good if he did break Rocky Mossy in a record, but it's right now, man, Floyd's not going to get the credit for what he's doing anyway right now because that's the way people receive him right now. It's, we see him as a, a, a woman beater. Uh, all these things that, some of the things you, you already know, women, you're gonna, have, you're gonna have altercations. But, it's not only that, man, you know. Floyd gives to people. They, they ain't looking at none of the stuff he do. 
happy and not looking at none of it. And if it was me, I wouldn't give nobody shit. Do you think Floyd would make a good trainer himself? Say what? Do you think Floyd would be a good boxing trainer himself? Well, I don't think, I, I, I definitely probably would. I definitely don't think he would be, uh, I don't think people, people get money and stuff like that, man. They ain't, they, they ain't worth, they ain't trying to be fighting like that, man. They want to drive limousines and, <laughs> and, and put on fancy clothes and <laughs> eat good food. Oh, oh, that kind of stuff. The day you laced gloves on your son, did you know he's going to be the best ever? 49 and 0, make $300 million? Nobody never know what's going to happen. Only thing I can tell you is I did tell people in the streets all the time, even when I was pushing him in a stroller, I was telling people he's going to be the best because I seen something in him when he, he might have been 10 months, 11 months, I seen him throwing some punches and like, it wasn't like no punches, like the way the baby's throwing, he's throwing them like I would throw. He was doing a shoulder roll at 11 months? No, he was doing no, no shoulder roll, but he was, he was doing the hand like that, you know, he was, so you know, it, it was enough punching for me to see what it was, what was going on, because I used to do his hand like this all the time. You, you know what he told me? And, 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 well, well, Dave know, Dave, Dave here, know he knows. Yeah. Dave knows Floyd's been fighting for a long time since he was a baby. Floyd so told me so, that in kindergarten, after kindergarten, he went running for you for miles. Well, I'm just telling you that Floyd did used to run with me at different times. When he was younger, he run, he run for a good, long, long time, man. Floyd's a, Floyd's a good runner, too. Do you ever get nervous during his fight when someone lands a shot? You, 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 let, me, let, me, let me tell you that. This, this is really odd whether y'all believe it or not. Whether you believe it or not. I, today, today, I had a little fear in me today for some reason. I don't know why I was... I mean, it was about me, it was about my son in the fight. It was just, I see, I see how the guy was training, and uh, I hadn't seen Floyd come in for the last week in the gym. So I was kind of thinking about, what if he ain't really training like he should? And, uh, and I went on with it, man, anyway, and, you know, I, but... What do you mean, you, what do you see him in the gym for the last year? I see him for the last, the, the, what well, was a week before? Ladies and gentlemen, a week before the last week. Andre Berto to the podium. He's still training, or just not when you were there? Well, he probably, evidently, the guy was hitting him in the body and stuff, he was, evidently, it was, he, he was running, doing a lot of running. Big round of applause for Andre 